Hi YouTube, recently the Xiaomi Note series has been gaining popularity with consumers. Xiaomi has been knocking out some great budget smartphones, making other phones look unreasonably expensive. Particularly, I update my cell phones yearly and after weighing all the advantages and disadvantages of the Xiaomi to the Samsung J series, which I've always had, I decided to try it. And besides, it's cheaper. This is Shibabs and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll only unbox and see package contents of the Redmi Note 8, but later on, we'll make a full review of the phone itself and maybe compare it to other phones in the same price range. But for now, it's important to point out that this is a low-budget phone that comes with lots of good stuff. Starting with the unboxing or package contents, we have a white box containing a user guide which comes in at least 14 languages, Spanish and English is one of them, a warranty card, a TPU case, but it doesn't come with a screen protector. and a SIM ejector tool. Also, we have a, a cardboard piece. I don't know what it's for. We have the Redmi Note 8. We'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. A charger. And finally, we have a USB cable Type-C. There's nothing else in the box, as you can see. So back to the phone, this phone was released in 2019. The latest Redmi Note 8 is a polished version of the Redmi Note 7 as far as the design is concerned. The Redmi Note 8 comes in three color options, Neptune Blue, which is this one we have, Space Black and Moonlight White. This phone is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 chipset, octa-core. It has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. But you can also find a 6GB RAM and 128GB variant. It runs on Android 9 and features a 6.3 inches IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen display with 1080 by 2340 pixel resolution and a 409 pixel density. Detailing the external characteristics, in front it has a, a 13 MP selfie camera and the Gorilla Glass 5 protection on the front and the back adds to the overall design of the smartphone. At the back, you have the fingerprint sensor and you also find four camera lenses, a 48 megapixel, ultra wide angle camera, 8 megapixel, ultra wide angle camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth camera to basically satisfy all your needs. You can also see the wavy design depending on the color at the back and on the right hand side we have the power button and the volume rocker. There is only one slot for the dual SIM and memory card. 
this tray has two seams, nano seams, and right here you have the memory card. On the top, you have a noise reduction microphone and also the infrared sensor, which is good as you can use your cell phone to control some gadgets like television, etc. Using the, the, the My Remote application, which is already installed in this cell phone. On the bottom, you'll find a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and then uh, you have the Type C USB port, which feeds the LiPo 4000 m MAH non-removable battery. The Type-C cable charge has its advantage and disadvantage. Advantage because it's good, it's new, it's resistant and it's fast. Disadvantage because if you're ever left without charge, not everybody has the kind of cable needed to charge this cell phone. In optimal conditions, the Redmi Note 8 offers up to 2 days charge, 23 hours of battery life for calls, 15 hours for videos, or 7.5 hours for gaming. Finally, the Redmi Note also offers the auto-cleaning speakers, which can be effective against dust or liquid, but you cannot submerge the cell phone in water. So, overall, the Redmi Note seems an all-round beast and I can't wait to start using it and see its performance. We'll update the review of the Xiaomi in later videos after using it. I hope you learned something in this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button so you will get notified when we upload new videos. Until next time, ciao!